This is most certainly going to complicate things in what is already an uneasy situation, an uncomfortable atmosphere between the United States and Iran. Like you said, Iran state media is reporting that the country's Revolutionary Guards Air Force shot down a U.S. drone after it illegally entered Iranian airspace. Now, the incident happened in the southern Hormozgan province. Now, this is an area directly north of the Strait of Hormuz, very near to the area where the two oil tankers were attacked last week, subsequently leading to uh, the U.S. military announcing that it would send additional troops to the area. State media here in Iran is reporting that the drone was a RQ-4 Global Hawk. Now, this is a fairly large unmanned drone that can stay airborne for more than 24 hours. Uh, the Global Hawk has been mainly used for surveillance purposes. So it's important to note that this is not an armed drone and that it's been used by the U.S. military extensively in both Afghanistan and in Syria. Meanwhile, Iran's deputy commander of the army had emphasized earlier this month that the presence of foreign military forces in the Persian Gulf is totally unnecessary and will not help, would not help in the establishment of security. In fact, that this would only cause greater insecurity in the region.